The Witching Hour, August 27th, 2024. But first, please our model channel to grow. Like, subscribe, share, comment, any combination thereof. Bye. Because you're beautiful on the inside and on the outside. Nail fire. So today I did pray in the witching hour, which is to say I began to pray before midnight and I stopped praying just after 3 a.m. The witching hour is when Satanism, witchcraft, demon worship, seances is most active. For them, this is a holy time for them, 12 midnight to 3 a.m. So the Lord has me praying and meditating, speaking in tongues, a little bit of reciting scripture through this hour, primarily in the form of prayer. And the scripture is not from opening the Bible, but from memorized scripture. My prayer would typically last around two hours, maybe a little less, maybe as much as two and a half hours. But because I'm praying in tongues and hearing the syllables of the language of tongues, two languages are being spoken at the same time, which is a good thing because it messes up their remote neural monitoring, which is, which is a fact. It's just a fact. They now can read the brain waves of people who are quadriplegic and cannot speak. That means they're paralyzed from the neck down. And these computer systems can tell you what they're saying just reading their brain waves. So this messes that up because they want, it's just like MK Ultra. They want to be able to control our minds and God's saying, no, you can't do that. So my prayers memorized and I was really tired. I mean, I did force myself to pray just over three hours, but I kept messing up on my prayer. My mind was wandering and I, you know, this, this prayer that should be fairly easy to pray, even though it's a very long prayer. Uh, the prayer kind of evolves and it changes a little, but I just had to stop. So I did pray in the witching hour. God is merciful. Right now it's like seven something. Let me see. It's 7.20. And so I woke up. Um, I went to sleep. I actually ate. I was hungry. I ate. Then I went to sleep and I just got up. It was uh, six something. And so I finished my prayers, which lasted me about an hour and a half. And so that's all done with. During praying in the witching hour in the way the Lord makes me do, by and large, he really suppressed the program. This program does not want us in contact with God, doesn't want us praying to God, doesn't want you thinking about the word love or love, even if you don't believe in Jesus. Um, and so... As I see God more and more making it harder and harder for them to interfere with me praying, meditating, speaking in tongues, it's all inspiring and it's amazing because he, what is impossible for man is possible with God. The enemies of the Israelites, the Egyptians, were powerful foes that were way too powerful for them. And so is the United States military, deep state industrial complex. They're way too powerful for us. We can't do anything against them. But God is way too powerful for them. They can't do anything against God. So the Lord doesn't allow them to mess with my prayers. And it is a blessing. I praise and glorify and worship His holy name forever and ever. Get to know the Lord, beautiful born again, T.I.s. God bless.